Hey, Gavox here. So, Gunslinger, something we've had a love-hate relationship with over the years. It makes our arm motion faster, uh, trajectory lower, which then ends up hitting our lineman in the back of the head. So, love-hate, I think it's balanced nicely. But, interestingly enough, it says, let's, let's read the description right here. Faster throwing animations and velocity on blip passes. So, with that said, the next portion says does not stack with itself. Someone today on stream was like, hey, my friend accidentally added a Gunslinger, and he said it was a difference. And I was like, okay, all right, interesting. This is how we oftentimes find a lot of glitches. Somebody finds something on accident, says something, and I'm like, oh, okay, let's try it out. Sometimes it bears out, sometimes it doesn't. Everybody in chat thought I was getting jibated. Everybody's like, no, you idiot, it's not going to go faster. Come on, man, that's just Twitch chat getting at you. But I was like, you know what? It's June, why not? Let's spend it, let's see it. We've seen a lot more crazy stuff, and this is fun. So, I ended up doing. So strange that we're finding stuff in June. But, let me switch you over to the uh, other screen where I, where I broke it down frame by frame. And you will see this pretty obviously once you get in the game, but I want to show you frame style what ended up happening. So, alright, here is Michael Vick we ended up using first. We ended up using a couple ones. Here's with uh, Gunslinger versus two times gunslinger okay so you can see this not only does it add like i, I only looked at uh our movement i did not measure velocity of ball coming out of the hand so the velocity might also stack now that we see arm movement okay so here we go you can see that it's kind of like you know synced up what the right here you know see how they're, they're switching the, the, their arms are coming apart the same all right now here's two times gunslinger Right here, they're about the right here. They're about the same, and then right there, like that, right there, like that spot, like the first part of the motion, it's around the same, and then once it gets around here, it starts speeding up. So that's two times gunslinger versus one times gunslinger. If you look at it, the same around here, and then um, boom. So it gets it out about a frame faster. So it goes from about, I, I think I counted 12 frames. I can, I can manually count it. 12 frames to get it out with one times Gunslinger, 11 frames to get out two times Gunslinger. And that doesn't include the velocity of the ball, which I did not test. Somebody else can do that. Um, so it is stacking. And you're like, well, that's okay. You know, that's an okay test. That's just once though. All right, all right, all right. I, I always say, go check this out for yourself. Don't believe anything you see on the internet. So definitely do that. All right, so I was like, all right, let's try it. Patrick Mahomes. All right, here is Patrick Mahomes. Zero gunslinger, one gunslinger in the middle, and then four times gunslinger in the uh, far right frame, right above my head. Four times gunslinger. And we'll talk about four times gunslinger in a second. So here it is. So all of it, see, they're kind of all, all at the ball, the same spot right there, down, kind of vertically down. And then... Four times. See how four times now has the ball basically out? Whereas he's only half cocked. Half cocked with no gunslinger. And the ball's out with four time. I mean, that's kind of a dramatic difference. That is a dramatic difference. This was all taken in mutt too, in, in, a, in a practice mode. Two times. Even gets that. Wait, wait, is that two times? or Sorry, that's one times gunslinger in the middle. One times gunslinger just getting it out now. And the ball's already down the field with four times. Already a couple frames gone. So yeah, and then no gunslinger. It's like it takes forever, and that's just a pass in the middle of the field. That's like that's not even like a deep throw. This is just a normal pass in the middle of the field. So Mahomes, kind of crazy, ball out with four times already, decent, worse, and far. So here is the stack, right? I, I ended up counting the frames. So if you look at that, one times gunslinger was twelve frames with Vic. One times gunslinger was twelve frames for Mahomes. I had to, I had to redo it with Mahomes. Uh, because Vic can't get uh, four times Gunslinger because of Scrambler spot. So nine frames. So it looks like it's one frame per Gunslinger. So it went from 12 to 11. I'm guessing three Gunslinger is 10 frames. And then four is nine frames. So this says to me, hey, how do we take advantage of this? How do we abuse this? Now, obviously the running game is still going to be crazy. Throw on the runs are going to be improved. So if you do rollout corners, those are going to get quicker. But how quick do you need those? Those are already pretty darn quick. So I hope, hope, kind of uh, hope of hopes, right? For us to get like a Rodgers going forward. That would be the best. 
having an Aaron Rodgers with with a 99. Because right now he can't get escape artists and gun and, and gunslingers. He only gets three abilities as it is. So hopefully it's a 99. They can get the escape artists and the gunslingers. Because I think escape artists is basically a need in this game, right? You basically need to have escape artists, unless of course you do prefer pocket passers. There are people that do not like getting out of the pocket. I only get out of the pocket once every you know. Like, I would say a few times a game to escape the pass rush. But even then, like, saving sacks like that is pretty freaking important. Anyway, so, like, if I were to say going forward what to do, what to put on your cards, I would go maybe a gunslinger or two. Maybe two, maybe three if you can get it if you don't like an escape artist. There's Mahomes where I added all mine. But, like, because Harold Master on the golden ticket quarterback is also super nice. And it's so crazy being able to do post- like, the best routes in the game. So, like, three times Gunslinger would be really cool. But, like, then you lose Hot Route Master with Golden Ticket Quarterbacks. And I don't know... I don't know if I love that. Right? So, like, power level-wise. Maybe maybe I might switch my offense to two Gunslingers. Then I'd have Escape and Hot Route Master. And then I'd have to, like, think about myself. Like, how often am I using Hot Route Master? Because it's quite a bit. And then I could put a like I could put a center with abilities with identifier because I really like identifier and then like threat detector, pass block, elite, uh, that kind of stuff. I can try to do that 99 power up pass and that uh, that 99 center. I forgot it was a Moai. or hopefully position heroes come and we get 99s. Which content is weird. Uh, it's been like what 40 some days since we got the draft promo, and it's gonna be 80 more days until Madden 21. I don't know what they're doing with their time there. I mean, golden tickets I guess took up a little bit, but. Regardless, I hope I hope Roger gets that power pass. So, is it worth it? I don't know, man. I don't know. If you're going to choose a quarterback to do this, Mahomes, the Cole Pepper that came out is a good one. I think two times Gunslinger looks to be worth it. I think the extra frames getting the ball out, like, three times, is it's just fun, right? It's just fun to have a passing offense to make dots West Coast style, getting it around. Um, are you going to hit the lineman more? Potentially, right? That's always an issue with Gunslinger. Maybe get yourself somebody really tall to kind of, like, stop. Like, Vic, who I have. It always has trouble throwing low passes or a gunslinger hitting a lineman. And this is not going to be any better with that. But, man, is he dotting, right? So, will it get patched, though? I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's going to get patched, whatever it is. It's June. They've given up on Madden 20, right? They're, they're already on the next game. They don't care what happens from here. There's not enough people playing it. So, I just expect this to stay in Madden 20. Uh, I don't think there's a really a reason to patch it. Um, I hope they don't patch it because it makes passing fun. It helps bring balance back to from the, the passing from the pocket. Um, anything that can buff that, I think, is good for the game. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of it. All right, that's all I wanted to go through. We'll see. Like, somebody, if somebody wants to let me know what the velocity... Oh, 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 another thing that came out that I do want to talk about. Someone added me on Twitter, and they did more testing on stacking abilities. I should have said this earlier. Um, it was super interesting. So they tried, and here was... Oh, shoot. Let me... Let me... Ah! Where was it? Here, here it was. Here it was. Here it was. All right. So Trace Mutt did a few different uh, tests. Small sample size. Hey, stop through the uh, LT with four times edge threat. We're talking about other things that that might stack. He dominated Walter Jones and instant shed six out of eight times and nickel normal with spready line. We found LT lost much more out of other alignment scenario for the some weird reason. Especially when lineup R O L B and three four. I think that's just uh, nickel normal with a spread D line just gets really good pass rush. I, I hate going against nickel normal with those three uh, D linemen because they get off kind of crazy. Uh, they also tested four times gift rack on Lamar in total. His receivers cost ten out of ten balls when it hit traffic. So gift rack they're saying might stack. It's worth noting that uh, out of those ten trials, four of them involved receiver being hit stick by four times enforcer golden ticket Taylor Mays. Four times Enforcer debunk. Like, Enforcer doesn't add to your stats, right? Enforcer doesn't add animations. It just goes for CPU hit stick tackles. So, Enforcer is different. It doesn't, it's not like Gunslinger. It's not like some of the other things that are adding to the animation. They just make you go for hit stick tackles, but they don't increase the rate of fumbles, to my knowledge. But in shorts with small sample size, gift wrap four times Omega W. So, big win, I guess, is what he means. Because, no, I'm going to say Omega. It's Omega low, like a laughing thing. But he says gift wrap times four. I guess it really worked for him. Uh, edge threat times four equals W. Super W on nickel with spread D line. But it, Super W on nickel with spread D line already works. 
Pass Rush Elite times four. Oh, did I not? Oh, I didn't show all those. Um, debunk slash L, Escape Artist, Evasive, Route Technician, Enforcer, Streak Special, Run Stopper. I didn't, uh, he, I didn't, sorry. He, he replied them all to here. We also tested Miles Garrett with four times Run Stopper. Miles was 1 6 shedding versus runs directly at him. We did find a weird glitch that counted as outlier where a specific run play he would be ignored by blockers. The play was 26 2 out of single back wing tight 3 4 out. So, Run Stopper didn't seem to work very well, didn't stack with itself because. Run Stopper, if you call the patch that brought it back, brought it out, and they talked about it, I think it was like August. Uh, they said Run Stopper gives a 0.6 timer um, to how quickly you'll. So uh, maybe it was 60, percent but you'll you'll shed. You'll get your your block shed animations happen sooner. So we thought maybe potentially it'll multiply upon itself because that's 0.6, but there must be some sort of upper limit that they specifically put in for Run Stopper so that way it doesn't stack. So that when they fixed and that when they made sure it didn't stack. Uh, but the other one, um, Edge Threat Elite. Yeah, there it is. Edge Threat Elite was a super W out of nickel. And uh, Pass Rush Elite was a, a W too. Oh, Edge Threat Elite, yeah. We also ran four times Escape Artisan Cam, four times Route Tech Julio, four times Evasive Walter P. None of these seems to do anything. Yes, these are more frame rate tests, but we want to see if there's anything wild that we could be seeing with the naked eye, like there's a gunslinger. Nope. So that one, it didn't seem to work. And that one kind of makes a little bit of sense with evasive getting up, up to like the highest level of um, juke. So thanks for doing that, Trace Mutt. But basically, it's interesting to see Gift Rat times four became an Omega W. So do you go with something that makes your, all your receivers catch the ball or just throw to wide receivers with route chemistries or with, with post chemistries or go Gift Raps or go... I mean, at least there's a few different options to go with. Let me know if you guys are testing any other four times what they look like for you but uh yeah yeah it, it's kind of crazy i guess i should have showed some actual video game but you guys can look at the actual video um of your your, your players here i guess i can i can just import it here with a four time from from stream today um i think right i think this might have it no, that doesn't that doesn't work at all. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Um Here. This is perfect. Here's actual actual video of it so you guys can see how quick it actually is. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Well it's kinda got old fox going. Alright, so here's four times my home. I believe that's four. Is that four times or one time, home? No, that's not. Sorry, that's none times or not, my home. Yeah, that's none times, my home. Shoot. Here is the. Uh... This was this one. Oh, that's one times gunslinger. Here, all right, here's the four times gunslinger. Now you can watch him throw the ball. See how much faster that is out of his hands? The velocity doesn't look too crazy different. But yeah. The way the, way the ball explodes out of his hands is what we're looking at. Versus. Yeah. So that's one versus four. Um, there you go. It matters, but uh, use it however you want. Versus Escape Artist, Hot Route Master, all the good stuff. I think I'll keep on Escape Artist and Hot Route Master. And I might switch to Identifier My Center from my tight end chems. Uh, but uh, that's it. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.